Scratching, ching ching bling bling dala dala okay boys we made it to 3.5k subs and this beautiful huntsman knife marble fade is the giveaway for 5k subs link as always is down in the description it's a gleam giveaway as always and remember once you complete all the steps don't forget the daily challenge because that's the thing that will bring you the most points good luck everybody and let's hit 5k subs as fast as we can this is a robbery tell me where you keep your expensive skins or i'll blow his brains out J john please d d don't uh well i mean him what the where are the normal skins? Guys, the best skins are on Skin Club. What are you talking about? Here, look. Oh, no way! The best skins are only on Skin Club. Hey, yo, what up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can, well, save epic clutches or insane kills or an ace or whatever this method i'm about to show you does not work on face it because the face it anti-cheat blocks the nvidia experience i'll show you guys in a separate video just leave it down in the comments if you want another separate video on how to have the same feature maybe using a different program but for face it this only works for any other game and csgo matchmaking well, basically CSGO without the face it anti-cheat. If face it anti-cheat is working on your PC, you better close it so this feature can work. If you have an NVIDIA card, which is like probably 90% of you guys, all you gotta do is search for GeForce Experience. Now, if you don't have GeForce Experience, I will have it linked down below so you can click on it and download it. Anyway, this is a good software from NVIDIA that comes with your graphics card and it keeps your drivers up to date. Plus, it optimizes games. I prefer to keep this option off because I noticed some performance dips with, with some games. When I keep this in auto, I notice some performance dips. So this software just checks your computer settings and automatically sets everything to however it wants. But again, as I said before, it, it gave me some problems, so I keep this off. Back to the topic at hand. If you want to record... All you gotta do is go to settings and make sure your graphics card is like a 1660 or above. I'm sure most of you have that. And next step, make sure in-game overlay is on. After you enable this, it might ask you for a restart or something. Probably not. Click on settings, find video capture, instant replay. Now you enter here. The, the length I like setting is two and a half minutes. Of course, you can do whatever you want. The resolution is also whatever you want. I prefer having it my in-game resolution, which is 2K. Okay, now the bitrate, the megabits per second. This depends on how good your computer is. I have a 2070. I never had an issue going 70 Mbps per second. So I keep it at that. The time, I keep it at two and a half minutes because, well, if you did something in a crazy round and you forgot about it the beginning of the second round, you can just press your hotkey and that is that of course there are presets a low medium and high i have it on custom i have it a little bit above high because i want to capture for you guys the crispiness of my game after that you gotta go to keyboard shortcuts then you find where it says record so you can toggle instant replay on or off i'll show you that in game in a while and you define a hotkey for me it's control backspace because it's really hard to click that by mistake i don't want to have a bunch of clips on my hard drive that i accidentally recorded by default this would be alt f10 now the last thing you want to do before you are ready and set to go is find recordings and define where you want to save everything i already have a video file set up everything is gucci so let's hop in game and show you guys how this works okay as soon as you hop in game it says press alt and z use geforce experience in game we can double check it just to make sure it's running before you enter your match just click alt and z and you'll see instant replay i don't want to record the whole game i just want the instant replay feature 
I turn it on. Then we are good to go. Okay, so now we are in game. And we are... Well, not recording, but NVIDIA experience is actually recording your gameplay. This will not really affect your FPS or anything. I never noticed anything different when I set it on or off. Let's say I did those three kills. They were nice. Two no scopes, one quick scope. I just click my hotkey, which is by default Alt F10. And it says there, saved the last one minute and 50 seconds. Okay, you're holding pit. You're doing a good job. Let's say you want to capture those so not insane three kills. You click Alt F10 again. And there you go. It says I saved the last one minute and 57 seconds. Okay, it said one minute 57 seconds because that is the time between my last clip and this clip. So now after I clip that, it starts recording again. And if I actually wait for two minutes and a half, which I will do. It will record the full two minutes and a half. Very good. Very nice. Okay, I believe that is two minutes and a half, I think. So I click my beautiful number again. Okay, close enough. 2 minutes and 22 seconds. But when you have not clipped anything for the past 2 minutes and a half or more. Like let's say you are in first round. You go to second round. And you want to clip something from the second round. When you do that, it's going to tell you save the 2 minutes and a half. Or however many duration you, you specified in the settings window that I showed you guys. Now let's hop out of CSGO and show you the recordings. Okay, so now all you gotta do is locate the folder where you decided to save your things. I left it at the default place, which is the disk of PC and videos. But again, you can put a specific folder as I showed you before. And it's gonna save your clips each game separately. So Counter-Strike Global Offensive, as you can see, these are the three clips that I just clipped. Let's see clip number one. It shows me the menu and when I queued up and started the game. But if you remember, the first clip was 1 minute 50 seconds. And look how clear the freaking quality is. Again, if your PC is low end, your graphics card is not a fantastic card. Mine isn't either, it's just a 2070. You can go to the settings and lower it. You don't have to do 70 Mbps as I did. This is the long clip, 2 minutes, 22 seconds. And, well, after you have your clips, you can take this into Premiere or Vegas Pro or DaVinci Resolve or whatever software you use for editing and have some insane, insane freaking clips. I hope this video helped you and was of use to you. This doesn't just work with Counter-Strike, it works with any freaking game. Just as long as you make sure that you set up the instant replay feature correctly and remember your time limit and for my settings each video is almost one gigabyte so look out for that space make sure you don't let your videos pile up like i did as you can see i have videos from the beginning of september if this video was helpful smack a like leave your comment down below and remember if you're not subscribed give your boy a sub as always this is your boy angel i'll catch you in the next video peace out